All right, Sean Sattel, FightHype.com, here with the number one rated super lightweight in the world by the IBF, my man Richardson Hitchens. Uh, Richardson, man, I, I, you know, I was getting some Brian Castaño vibes up there from, from Limos. Uh, you think that's a similar kind of Argentinian fighter um, heading in? Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I got to get in there on, on Saturday and see when me and him box off and we start boxing. I don't know what to expect, what he's coming with, everything. It is. I just got to get in there Saturday. What do you make of, like, the style ca uh, contrast? Like, a lot of people feel you're great at long range. His game is up close. What do you make of the style contrast in this fight? It's all about uh, who can execute their game plan better. I got a game plan. He got a game plan. We both know which, what's his game plan. He knows what's my game plan. Who's going to execute it better? You know, it, it sounds like you watched some takes on him. Um, coming into the fight. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, I'm going to take what I am. I'm going, I'm going out here and put it, putting myself, my, my, my life on the line, my every, my reputation on the line. I'm going to pay attention. Some fighters, they, they almost like brag about like they didn't watch tape on them. Well, why do you think it's important to watch tape on the man? Just to know, I mean, just to know what you're in for. Just to know what, 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 what strengths, weaknesses, stuff like that. Yeah. And you see, you, you saw him get hurt. In some, okay, and, and you mentioned you saw him get hurt in some fights. How many fights did you see him get hurt in? I got like, seen him get hurt in like two fights. Same thing as the, as the Peter. I've seen the Peter get dropped with a body shot before. Uh, this guy for whatever Dalton Smith for him. So yeah, you, you think you hurt him in this fight? Yeah, for sure. I think I hurt him in this fight. Now, do, can, you know, stylistically, man, do you feel like you're starting to, to turn into a boxer puncher or are you just more of a pure boxer right now? How many things I need to be on that night to, for a victory, I feel like? I could be a volume puncher, I could be a, a precise. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get the W, whatever it takes. Would, would you think of him, you know, folding his arms, trying to have a little smirk at the face off? Do you like that kind of energy from, your, from I mean, a guy coming? We'll see. I mean, that's his smirk. If you feel like he knows something that I don't, hey, then that's good for him. I don't need a smirk. I don't need to do none of that. I'll just come in here and do what I do and fight. I, I proved myself already with only 17 fights. I'm still, still, I'm still green, still climbing the ring, still getting to that level. I don't, I don't, I don't need 20-something uh, fights, 30-something fights to be headlined on my own show. All it took was 15 fights, and I was already with the big boys. So that shows you my skill set right there. Now, I know I know you know your boxing, not like outside of just yourself. Like You know the history of the game and everything. Is he, is he built like that? Is he built like a Maidana, Matisse, Jorge Castro, uh, you know, all these all these tough Argentinians? You think that's what you're, uh, that's the type of fighter you're going up against, or he's, uh, he's not quite that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he seems like a real strong, rugged, you know, like come forward, aggressive, throws his punches, aggressive with everything on it. That's what it seems like. And uh, what, what do you think a lot of people making uh, about the Matias stuff, like, you get people understanding, of course, he wants to rehydrate and be as strong as possible right. for a killer like Matisse. But then other people, well, well, what do you mean? You know, 10 pounds or not, that's got, a shot at the world title. You got guys like Devin Haney saying, oh, when, 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 when have we ever heard of that? Devin Haney's coming in at 165 of a fight. Coming at 165. Devin Haney would never go in, in the ring with, I don't believe Devin, I mean, I don't know. I don't believe he'll go in the ring with no, uh, with no fucking um, Matias, Matias at one like with that rehydration, uh, you know, effect. Because the guy's getting to 165. I'm not even getting to 165, and I'm complaining. The guy, if, if Devin Haney had, was so, was so, um, oh, when have we ever heard of that? Or if you want to fight, you want to fight. He would fight Tank at 140. I mean, he would fight Tank with a, a rehydration clause to make the fight happen because that's his biggest money fight. That's the legacy fight. And Tank, Tank don't want to uh, go up to one. 40 and, and fight and let Devin go up to 65. So why you don't meet take that a catch weight since you feel like we never heard of that? And then the guy keeps saying, oh, uh, he got to come do it again or he got to go beat Matias. The guy know he ain't never be beat no killer. There ain't nobody he ever fought that. Nobody was not trying to fight. I already said what I had to say on that situation. I just wanted to address that situation here on Fight Hype just to let the people know the guy I love so much is a man. It's just... Man, it is what it is. The guy's just a fraud, and I just I just got to focus on Saturday, focus on my fight. Like I said, it's a tough fight. Every fight is a tough fight, and I just got to yep. go out there and um, just go out there and get the victory. For you, uh, what, what do you usually rehydrate to on fight night? Are you, are you like 55? Yeah, 55, 56 maybe the most. Probably, I'm 56, and I'm probably going to use the bathroom. 50, I mean, it depends. I didn't rehydrate it big before. I didn't rehydrate it close to 160 before. I mean, so it just depends. It just depends on uh, the city I'm fighting in, the time we have to be in the arena. 
a Tom the Wayans and just shit like that. Well, yeah, you're a big 140, tall for the division. Yeah. Um, so, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like you're, you're a little more interested in the WBC route with Haney because it doesn't have the rehydration I, thing. I going mean, on. I will prefer, that's it, right? I will prefer, I'm not gonna lie to you, but if the opportunity presents itself and Saturday night we go out there, I feel good, I put on a great performance. Why not? Uh, the, why not the IBF? I mean, if we get a title, a title shot there, why not? It's a big fight with me and Sabrina Matias. Everybody will be interested. Um, and it will be a great fight. So let's just see what, what comes to the table. Is there a chance that Devin would be able to not have to rehydrate like that because he has the WBC? Is that how that, if it's a unification, yeah, is the he rehydration have to rehydrate. on? The motherfucker coming out in the ring at 175, okay. I'm pretty sure. Like, So we don't, we, I mean, I mean, it really don't matter to be honest. But I can't focus on Devin Haney. He got to focus, fight to focus on. I got to fight to focus on. Right now, we're not crossing paths. It's, it's, it's. I mean, we're, 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 we're around the same area. You know, it's, it's, it's a potential. But I still got things I got to go out there and do. And that's Saturday night with this tough, strong Argentinian. What do you want to show in this fight, Richardson? Show what I've been showing. I show, show that. Um, Show that I'm a great fighter. Show that I'm a dominant fighter. I mean, I've, I've, sh I've showed it over and over time again. You know, with only 17 fights, I feel like it's like, it feels like the same old story. It's like the guys go out here, they say, oh, this is going to be a tough fight. Or if Richardson could make this fight look easy, I would be surprised. But then I go out there and do it again and again. And like I said, they they giving, they, they if, if they're saying that I'm in a tough fight with a guy that never been in with the caliber of me or the caliber of or the caliber of the guys I even fought. Imagine what type of fight it's gonna be for the guy I'm fighting, you know? So people have all these things to say, but we'll see. When, I know one of your, your your best attributes is distance control, like Shakur. Very good at knowing your distance at all times. When you're, when you're doing that, is it? are you sizing up? Like, it's just a matter of time before I bring out the heavy artillery. Right. It, it, yeah, could it's you just, kind of- It's just like a calculated move, you know? Boxing, boxing is, it's all about distance and timing. You know how to you know what to, what shots to pick on the inside, how far to be, just everything. Boxing is, is, is a sweet sign. So I think that I, I I'm a uh, one of the young masters at. Is there is there times, especially against a guy like Lemos, like an aggressive guy, where you see it earlier than you wind up throwing it because you're just waiting for the the right time to start letting it go. Is it like like yeah. you know you don't want to go crazy? You don't want to go crazy. It's all, with the it's, all about, it's all about his reaction and shit like that. How he reacts, how how jittery and how how on point he is. I can feel it. I can feel that. I can feel when he's. I can, I'm gonna feel it. It's all about senses. My senses gonna be able to tell everything. So yeah. Hey Richardson, thank you for your time, man. We'll be watching Saturday. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. I appreciate you.